Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the bantamweight bout between Chris Gutierrez, Chris Gutierrez versus Felipe Colares and how I see this fight between these two. So Chris Gutierrez versus Felipe Colares. So I said, why are you struggling to pronounce their names? I mean, it's what it is. I'm just running these back and um, sometimes these names get tongue tied. But either way, I got it right. It's not the hardest names right here in this fight. But other fights be harder. But to the prediction, um, <laughs> Chris Gutierrez versus Felipe Colares for the ninth time. But um, how I see this fight right here is um, I'm going to say lock um, Chris Gutierrez. This is a lock on Chris Gutierrez, which is not much of a shock to anyone. I don't know why I would be shocked to anyone, but a lock for Chris Gutierrez. When I look at Felipe Colares, he had a struggle with Saunders in his last fight. It was getting out strike, picked apart, rocked, and just beat around like a ping pong with like the first whole round and really a lot of this fight. And then he really just had to dredge on the second round, third round. He could like take downs and control them, but it wasn't very much a good showing for him. Very much probably could have, I don't know why the United States could have very much been a split decision. It wasn't the best fight for um, Colares, I almost say. And Saunders is nowhere near on the level of striking that Chris Gutierrez is at all. And Chris Gutierrez grappling is much better than Saunders as well. So his striking is much better than Sanders. His grappling is much better than Saunders. And in general, he's just on a whole different tier than Luke Sanders. And he barely made it past Luke Sanders. And when I look at Felipe Colares, anytime I fight, fight somebody decent, he might show good heart out there, but he just shows that he just ain't on level with these guys when he's out there with them. I think Chris Gutierrez might be the best guy he formed. Montel Jackson, you know, is kind of here and there. Like he's definitely a talent, probably will bud into a fighter that's better than Chris Gutierrez. But that's just give a moment. I feel like, you know, Chris Gutierrez does have, have had some of these little close fights recently. I still think he has proven himself to be a better fighter than Montel Jackson at this given moment. Like I said, at this given moment and, and in previous moments. But yeah, I think, um, could he, like, Clarence might have that grappling, right? He will have a slight grappling advantage over Gutierrez, like in BJJ, but wrestling wise, I don't think he has no advantage there. Grab, like I said, might have a slight advantage, but nothing that he can really use in this fight against um, Gutierrez. He can maybe hope that Gutierrez gets tired of beating him up and, and use him as a punching bag. But that's not going to be the case. Gutierrez is going to be, if you're going to let yourself be a punching bag in this fight, Gutierrez is going to continue to dig you up and going to spit you out and finish you. And Kolaris does got hard, so it's kind of hard to, I mean, it's not hard to bank on him getting finished, but I don't know if necessarily throw money, but it's probably going to be, I don't know. I don't know how, judge, I don't know how the odds makers going to see it, but who cares at this point? But, um, I feel I'm gonna pick Kalaris to get a stop. I'm not Kalaris. I'm gonna pick Gutierrez to get a stoppage in this one. Not Kalaris. I'm gonna pick Gutierrez to get a stoppage over Kalaris in this one. Like I said, Kalaris is way too hittable. He likes to be a punching bag out there. And I don't think his offensive grappling or at least offensive takedown, his taking the offense is that great. I feel like Gutierrez can stop him real easily. And if he wants to try to level change with his long, stiff body, try to level change. If you get cracked to the ribs, cracked to the jaw, hooked. Inside leg kick, outside leg kick. I just, then he gets diced up in this one. Look like a big lurch and gets picked apart and look like um, a bamboo tree out there or, that's already about to fall over. It's get, constantly getting digged into, digging into his leg, digging into his body, spinning back kick, heel, spinning heel hook. I mean, spell, spinning heel kick to the dome. Let's man's getting. I just see him getting a clinic put on him and probably look, making um, Gutierrez looking like a future world champion out there. Probably. I'm not saying Gutierrez will be a future world champion. Not betting on, not banking on it at all. But he will look like it in this fight against Kolaris. And I see him put him out in the second round. So in this fight, I got Chris Gutierrez via second round TKO.